All right, let's take a look at how to set up an impediment backlog in Trillo. Trillo is free. So go to trillo.com, set up an account, and you can immediately begin setting up either workspaces or boards. In this case, I could set up a workspace and just call this Joe Blogs Company Workspace. Or just choose operations. I'll hit continue. Uh, there are no other members. I'll do this later. Now we have a workspace. Next thing we're going to do is set up a board. So we need to set up like a Kanban board that we, we could use. Uh, there are all sorts of templates you could use. Let's take a look at some of them. Is goal setting follows that same Kanban board format. There's project management. Again, follows that same format. Decision tracking board. Not bad. And meeting agenda template. So the one that's closest to what we will use here is the project management one. We could just set that up from scratch. So there's a full template gallery here that you can look for more information on. You can actually just type in here Kanban board. It'll come up with a bunch of options. And let's see. So that's it. It's got uh, three columns or so. Very straightforward. We could use that. Or we could just create our own. It really depends on what we want. So why don't we go ahead and create a new board and just call this impediment. Impediment board. Okay. And then create. So now we have the first section. We're just going to call this the impediment backlog. The next one, we're going to call this investigate problem. The next one, we're going to call it develop solution. Next one, we'll say implement fix. And finally, done. All right, so these are all impediments that we're trying to uh, fix. I don't think we got that one done. OK. So we have impediment backlog, investigate the problem develop solution criteria, implement fix and done, uh, five stages. So this is how it would work. If I was going to create an impediment log for some of the issues that have been raised on my project, it would be as follows. Assuming I have an issue in my projects a lack of alignment between quality assurance and delivery, for example, I could say, let's add a card, lack of alignment between quality team and delivery plans. I can do that. And this one that I've added, if I wanted to change the, the color and the labels, I could do that. I can make this, assuming it's a, it's a really bad thing, I could say this is, this is really bad, needs to be done immediately, and that's a red. I can add another card, and I could say, for example, uh, 
lack of consistency in forms across system. And hit the enter button. Again, I'm going to edit the label and make this um, something yellow. So it's not as serious as the first one. And that's pretty much what you do. Uh, we could add some more information. Uh, forms in the system are missing key criteria. Key customer criteria. And this one, I'll make it a yellow again. And just so you know, there are many things you could do in editing. You could change members. In other words, you could assign uh, other members on your team if they are in here to it. Um, there are all sorts of things you could do. But the way it works, as you know, in Kanban, this is a really great tracking system because the moment you begin investigating the problem for this first one, you move it here. And it's a way of you making the work transparent and visible. And as you begin to move through the different steps, each time you move the card along, if more information needs to be added, let's say, if you need to edit any of the associated dates, you can have a reminder. This could remind you before the due date, minutes before the due date, so on and so forth. This is a due date of tomorrow, but if I wanted to change the due date to the 20th and I wanted it to be 1150 instead, I could do that. It also give me a reminder a, a day before which will be on the 19th. If I wanted it to be just minutes before, whatever that criteria is, I can change it, save it. And now I can see this has a deadline. Same for this. If I wanted to give this a deadline, I can do the same thing. I could put a deadline on the 24th. I could say, remind me two hours before. And that's it. And that information is now there. And as I keep on with the process, I can move, I can add more cards. And this becomes a good repository purposely for working with impediments. Now in the world of agile in general, some teams may want to couple this with a physical backlog. That's okay. Whatever you deem to be uh, most helpful in you doing the work, just do it. All right. So have fun populating your backlog with the impediments. And remember, this is a team collaboration tool. This is not meant to be a be all end all. Uh, having the impediments listed is one thing, but using the team and the power of the team to investigate the problem and develop a solution criteria for whatever those impediments are is important. All right. I hope you found this to be helpful. All the best in your agile journey. Remember, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Talk to you soon.